Columbus Oncology and Hematology Associates, Mix Room Clean Procedures. Mix room cleaning procedures can be categorized into daily, weekly, and monthly tasks. Daily. Surface cleaning. Every day, mix room counter surfaces should be cleaned at least once and as needed during the shift. Staff should first don appropriate PPE. Next, apply a small amount of Paradox to a lint-free wipe and wipe all surfaces. This step can be followed up with an alcohol saturated wipe, however, this is not necessary. To minimize odor, place all used wipes and pads saturated with Paradox in a sealable bag, then dispose of as chemo trace waste. Paradox fumes are not hazardous, but can be strong and may be unpleasant for some staff. In addition to cleaning all counter surfaces, Chemo transport bins should also be wiped down at least once per shift and as needed. Biosafety cabinet, or BSC. The chemotherapy hood, or BSC, must be deactivated, decontaminated, and cleaned once daily and as needed following a spill, per current guidelines. Additionally, sterile processing areas should be disinfected. This should occur at the end of the shift while there is no mixing taking place. Remove all items from the hood before cleaning. Before beginning, gather the appropriate supplies. This includes Paradox solution with a pour top, reaching tool, one reaching tool cloth pad, and one alcohol saturated cloth pad. First, take the reaching tool and a dry cloth pad. Fit the cloth pad into place and saturate the cloth pad with the Paradox cleaning solution. The cleaning solution should always be poured and never sprayed. Spraying can aerosolize hazardous drug materials and can damage HEPA filters within the BSC. Therefore, make sure the Paradox cleaning solution is fitted with the closable pour spout. Less is more with Paradox. One single saturation is enough to complete one full application to the entire hood. Over-application of Paradox can result in a strong vinegar odor that can be bothersome to staff and patients. If drying time takes longer than three minutes, this is an indication that you are using too much product. Use single unilateral strokes that slightly overlap when cleaning. Start with the least dirty surface, the top of the cabinet, and then clean the sides and the front. Finally, wipe the surface of the cabinet to complete the first step. Using the same pad with the reaching tool, reapply the Paradox solution and repeat the process of wiping the hood top to bottom for step two. After this second step, allow three minutes dry time. This three minute dry time starts from the moment the pad touches the top of the hood. Discard the used cleaning pad and grab a pre-saturated alcohol pad to place on the reaching tool. Wipe down the hood in the same fashion as described in steps one and two. This is the third and final step of the daily hood cleaning procedure. Place used pads and wipes in a sealable bag and dispose of as chemo trace waste. Floor cleaning. Additionally, floors in the chemo mixing area should be mopped daily using a disposable, lint-free mop head. This mop should be stored and only used in the mix room. Apply enough Paradox to the disposable mop head to fully saturate the pad, but not enough that it is dripping wet. Mop the baseboards first, mop hard to reach areas next, and then mop the remainder of the floor using an S motion as you exit the room. Allow three minutes dry time. Discard the mop head during the cleaning if it is visibly soiled more than 15% and also discard the pad at the end of cleaning by placing it in a sealable bag and disposing of as chemo trace waste. Weekly processes. In addition to the daily procedures, Weekly processes include a deep cleaning of the BSC. 
The grill should be removed and wiped thoroughly utilizing the three-step cleaning method outlined for daily procedures. The tray and the area underneath should also be cleaned in the same way. Any items that are stored in the hood should be wiped with Paradox on a lint-free wipe. Cabinet surfaces, the outside of the BSC, and the outside of refrigerators should also be wiped using Paradox on a lint-free wipe. Lastly, the trash can should be cleaned with a mop or a lint-free wipe using Paradox. Monthly processes. Ceilings and walls must be cleaned at least monthly. The anteroom floor should also be cleaned. This is achieved by applying Paradox to a clean, dry mop head. Again, saturate the mop head, but not so much that it is dripping. Use unilateral overlapping strokes similar to those used when cleaning the BSC. Begin with the furthest location from the door for all surfaces. Walls should be cleaned top to bottom. Stop about one foot from the baseboard. Clean this area of the wall using a horizontal stroke parallel to the floor. Cabinets and storage areas for chemotherapy must also be wiped down with a single application of Paradox solution. Always make sure to document your work on the tracking log that is located in the mix room. If you have any additional questions, please refer to Columbus Oncology's Policies and Procedures Manual. This concludes Columbus Oncology and Hematology Associates Mix Room Clean Procedures.